too lost off them beans. Where go all the lean? Please find me a foe. I'll even take green. I know this for sure. But maybe she'll What up, YouTube? Kev the Vulture here. Um, I thought I should start this video with a, a quote I found under a video um, that I want to tell you, say to you guys. Um, it says, sometimes you got to go through the fire to know the importance of water. Sometimes you got to go through darkness to know the importance of light. We all go through testing life from the most high in the universe, but at the end of the day, we always end up finding out what's right and what's wrong for us. Okay, so with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start the video. Um, today's topic is pretty much wisdom and knowledge. Also with a little story time. All right. So, guys, pretty much wisdom, which we know it as, means that it's when it wisdom is when you know from experience. OK, so pretty much through life, like when, when you living through life, you learn things from just experience. Um, um, we know that some things take experience for you to learn. You get what I'm saying? That's what that's why some people ma make mistakes, even though they have answers because they have the knowledge, but not the wisdom. So it's good to have a balance. Um, um, and knowledge, which we know it as, is the actual knowing of something. So knowledge is what you get from the OGs who have wisdom. Um, what you get from your parents, your grandma, your grandpa. Um, so yeah. So with these things being said, I want you guys to know that somebody could tell you something, but at the same time, you have to question what they tell you because not everything everybody tells you is true. The reason I say that is because um, I assumed from past experience that a dog is down every road. This is finna it, watch this guys. It's gonna make sense later on. Um I have um from past experience I think that wasps are trying to comfort me. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds. From past experience I think that um that people are I mean not from past experience, but I know from knowledge and listening to different stories and the, watching the news, which is the worst thing you could do. Um, I've built fear that people are coming out to get me or watching me or trying to get to me. That's why sometimes I go to sleep with the cover over me while I'm in the dark because I'm of, I have fear of the unknown. You get what I'm saying? And fear, wisdom, and intuition, I feel, play a big part in one another. The reason I say this is because knowledge can build fear, but wisdom, because you've gone through it, yeah, it might can. It, I feel like wisdom, you won't necessarily be so scared of whatever that is. But knowledge, all you know is that, oh, a wasp stings hurt, stings hurt, or a bee stings hurt. But at the end of the day, you really don't know because that's just what somebody else told you. See, the reason I say this is because a wasp could sting you or a bee could sting you and it might not hurt as bad as somebody else described it. Some people think that wasp stings just feel like a, like a, a little pinch or like, a, a, like it doesn't really hurt. Some people feel like wasps and bee stings hurt. At the end of the day, somebody could tell me a wasp bee sting doesn't hurt. But I still might have a phobia of wasps and bees. I might get scared that this thing might hurt. You get what I'm saying? See, at the end of the day, knowledge is knowledge and wisdom play a big factor in one another. But they're two of the different. They're two different things. 
You get what I'm saying? I could the wise the wise man a wise man once said that you can learn that knowledge. Dang, I'm trying to think. If I don't think about it right now, I'll post it. Um, that knowledge that a wise man listens to knowledge and a wise dang, I forgot guys. I forgot. But pretty much guys, what I'm saying is that you cannot only go by what people tell you. And I know a lot of you guys will say, oh, well, I don't go by what people tell me. Then why do you have fear of certain things that you shouldn't have fear of? Fear of the dark, fear of of dogs, fear of going to nature and to, to, um, to the forest, fear of when you drive a car, you feel like you're going to get in a car accident in the back of your head. You get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's all about it's all about building wisdom and knowledge at the same time and learning knowledge. You got to have half and half. You got to have a balance. Everything has to have balance, right? And who says my knowledge is any greater than yours? Your knowledge could be better than mine. You feel me? It's all about the different people's perspective and different people's minds. So, story time. Quick little story time. So today, guys, I decided to walk. I decided to walk down this road that I do not, I haven't ever been down this road. Um, the reason I decided to walk down this road is, one, because I have a fear of the unknown. I have a fear that I, when I was walking, in, when I was, decided to walk into this road, well, before I decided to walk in this road, I was in, I was in here in the house, in my house, and I was thinking, well, what if, what if there's dogs? What if there's, what if a wasp, when I walk, right when I walk outside, what if a wasp tries to sting me? <laughs> what if there's some mysterious people out there trying to, today that's trying to take some kids and, you know, child sex trafficking? What if, you get what I'm saying? And for me, I had to break from this. I had to break from this. See, I'm not fully broken from it, but today I decided, well, what if I die today? You feel me? What if I die? So then what? I never, I never got over that fear. I never got to see the road for what it really was. You feel me? So when I say this, I was walking down the road, and with all these things, well, I yes, I decided to walk down this road. So with all these things playing in my head that dogs were down there, was, and I'm constantly walking down the road, gaining more fear building upon me because I always hear about stories where the dog breaks loose or, um, you know, wasps stinging people. Like, it's stupid stuff, guys. It's stupid stuff probably it sounds to you, but it's true. It's real. A lot of people deal with this. A lot of people have phobias. So, guys, here we go. So, continuing on, I um, was walking down the road and there was nothing. There was nothing to be afraid of. Like, literally, I was walking down the road, not a dog didn't bark. And even if a dog barked, I, I told myself I was going to keep going because the dog might be barking. But you know what I'm saying? I'm doing me. It might be in this gate in the cage or something. So I told myself I was going to keep walking, keep venturing into the unknown. And notice how, like I told you, when I kept walking, I kept building more fear. But then... I keep going and I see this other road. And then I'm like, should I walk down this road? My my emotions and my logic, logical thinking told me, no, you shouldn't. But see, in a way, sometimes you have to let go of the logic and the emotional side of you. And you just got to go, bro. You just got to. You just got to go. You feel me? Like, I know a lot of things in this world. Like, it could be anything could be anywhere. It's evil everywhere. Get used to it. You feel me? It's just world. It's the world we live in. So, pretty much I stopped at the road because I just wanted to see what was down that one road. Everything was fine, guys. 
Everything was good. There was no dogs. There was no wasps trying to chase me. I saw a couple wasps. They weren't bothering me. They weren't thinking about me. You get what I'm saying? Like, the phobias and the fears of all these things that won't even hurt you. And even if they do hurt you, what if they don't hurt? What if they don't sting as bad? What if that spider, that, well, you know what I'm saying? Look, guys, at the end of the day, it's about having knowledge and wisdom and balancing them out. And logic. And it's, all good. it's okay to have emotions. You get what I'm saying? That's why I'm not with this whole, like, you know, having no emotions and this red pill and all this stuff. Like, the emotions are good to have. Don't let them control your logical thinking. But it's good to have emotions. You feel me? It's good to have emotions. We all have emotions at the end of the day. And I'm and I'm um, guilty of it. I'm still guilty of letting my emotions control the way I think, what I do, how I act. You get what I'm saying? I feel like. I have emotional trauma with certain things, you feel me? But yeah, guys, thought I would um, say that. And um, um, like I said, I didn't walk down that other road, even though I, I, something in my head told me that I should just go with the flow and just keep going. But fear, fear. And uh, that's what I'm trying to get over is fear. Because, like I like you know what I'm saying? You only have one life. Well, let me not say that because other people have different beliefs. But, you know, you have this life right here, right in the now. You're living in the now. So you can't be worried about the future or the past. You have to be in the now. And you have to learn how to improve in the now and not wait till it's too late. You feel me? It could be anybody's time to go. You could be going like this. So that's all I'm saying, guys. Um, maybe sometime later this week I might walk down that other road I want to walk down. But, yeah, guys. Wisdom, knowledge, fear of the unknown, and... Um, that's what I'm constantly working on and, uh, I'm gonna get better. I know I'm gonna get better cause got, you know, I feel like, I really do feel like I might possibly, I might possibly be a chosen one guys. I don't know. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but I'm, I might. The spiritual journey I'm going through, the things I'm putting myself through, I I still have a drive to want to do things, to want to go outside of my, my comfort zone, out of my box. I have an ambition to do it. I have motivation to do it because I feel like there's time, there, there's space to grow. You feel me? But yeah, guys, that's all I want to say. Um, enjoy y'all day. Um... Peace, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, not talk to you, but I'll see you guys later. All right, peace.